Hello, Gore Clubbers. October has arrived. It's time for Haunted Trails. Haunted Discoveries. Hoodies, harvest fests, pumpkin spice everything, and of course, horror movies. So that means Death Metal Dave, Ace, and me, and even our producer, Creepy Katie, will pull out one horror movie a night to talk about the month of October. Welcome back to the Gore Club Podcast, 31 Nights of Halloween. Ace is back with another pick. I picked a legitimate scary movie, House of the Devil. Um... This is one that I kind of, it's, it's fairly new, new-ish, um, but it's a lot of the uh, satanic panic, uh, babysitter going over to the weirdo house. This movie fucking rules. It is really good, and it's got, uh, cl- I mean, just everything about it. It's it's a total love letter to like 80s movies. Yeah, and it's an official release. You didn't bootleg. Yeah. You and this is I- not a bootleg movie. <laughs> 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 this came from an actual studio. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'd. This came out around the time when I was kind of on the on the fence where I was like, God, there's nothing good out. New move, new horror movies suck. Blah blah blah. You Long know, come Ty West, yeah. and it's amazing. Like I, I, I watched that and I was like, Holy shit! Somebody's putting out new horror movies that I like. I'm an yeah. asshole. <laughs> the, the world wasn't like flooded with, oh, this is a retro '80s movie at the time. Not yet. It was more still going kind of like with the Rob Zombie '70s sort of feel, and the '80s had started creeping in, and this one just comes right out of the bang. '80s hair. I mean, the effects are freaking amazing. The soundtrack. It's oh, got yeah. that. Uh, oh, it plays God. like the fix one thing, or one thing leads to another. Whatever that song. Very prominent in the movie uh it's also i think it was one of the first ones to bring back like they released it on vhs yeah yeah and that was a big deal i have a copy of it so back I then it was at a time when collecting vhs wasn't as popular as it is now <laughs> i know i had friends who made independent films and put them out on vhs and i still have a bunch of those kind of things laying around there too as well um so yeah this was a breath of fresh air when it first came out kind of slow people were like can kind of complain about it now but at this time you just didn't care you were like this is amazing it was great the, oh, yeah. the, the everything i think about this film is um I think it's just a fucking fantastic movie. I love it. That's yeah. The it's actress amazing. is amazing. And yeah. Greta Gerwig is in this. So, oh, yeah. you know, I worship anything she does. Yeah. And and uh, Larry Fesden, I think it was one of the producers. Larry Fesden did, uh, he's like, uh, was it Glass Eye Picks? He kicked ass in the late 90s with movies where they just, they, people weren't making low budget like vampire movies. And then he did like Wendigo movie, the one of the first ones and things like that. He's just awesome. And he's also been doing uh, things with Barbara Crampton from, you know, Reanimator. Uh, was it Jacob's wife? He's in that. Yeah. Uh, he's fantastic. So, anyways, House of the Devil, you guys. You got to watch it. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tomorrow night, another episode of Gore Club Podcast 31 Nights of Halloween. Yeah. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Core Club Podcast with Steve Vessel, Ace, and Death Metal Dave. <laughs>